My name is Komid Ovie Gideon. Today I will be talking about oxidation number. What is oxidation number? Oxidation number of an element is the number of charge an element appears to have. Then what is valency? Valency is the combining power of an element. So this is what you must know. When we talk about oxidation number, Elements in group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, and group 0 in the periodic table, their oxidation number is equal to their group number. Why elements in group 5, group 6, and group 7, 8 minus their group number is equal to their what? Oxidation number. So, for example, let me say, Calcium, oxidation number is plus 2, magnesium plus 2, aluminium plus 3, hydrogen plus 1, oxygen minus 2, chlorine minus 1, fluorine minus 1, uh, calcium is already there, hydrogen is already there, potassium is plus 1, Sodium is plus one. Maybe during the course of our explanation, we might bring other elements there. So let us go straight to example. If you are told to calculate or to find the oxidation number, The following underlined element. Maybe let me just bring a Na2, SO4, CaCO3, KmnO4. K2, Cr2, O7, Maybe let me just bring a CO2, so let's go straight to solution, if you are told to calculate Na2, SO4, which is the oxidation number of sulfur, this is what you must know. Sodium is what? From here, it's plus 1. So I'm now write 1 times the 2, close bracket, plus sulfur, S plus oxygen, which is minus 2 times what? 4. Equate everything to be 0. Please don't forget to equate. You must equate everything to be 0. So 1 times 2 will give you 2 plus S. Minus 2 times 4 will give you minus 8. Equate everything to be 0. So it now give you S equals to, let's call it light M, 8 minus 2. Then S is equal to what? Plus 6. This is our answer. Then the ion pack nomenclature, which is the ion pack name for this compound, Na is what? Sodium. 4 is what? Tetra O is what? Ozo S sulfate. What is our answer? Cis. So that's when we see some people saying um, Na to SO4 is sodium tetra ozo sulfate. What? Cis. It's very easy. We can easily get it from um, the oxidation number. So the oxidation number you are seeing is very compulsory. If you can know the oxidation number very well, you be able to get the IOPAC nomenclature of many compounds. So let me go straight to number two. If you are told to find uh, the oxygen number of CaCO3, Ca is what? Plus two. From here, here's Ca plus two. We are looking for carbon plus C plus bracket minus two times three. 
minus 2, oxygen number of your oxygen minus 2 times this 3. It will now give you 2 plus C minus 6 equals to what? 0. So let's collect light here. Then C is equals to C minus 2. Then automatically C is equals to what? Plus 4. This is our answer. Then the higher path nomenclature for this compound is C is what? Calcium 3 is what? Tri O is what? Oxygen, which is ozo. C is what? Carbonate. And the addition number is what? 4. This is how to get it. So let me quickly go to number 3. K M N O 4. We are looking for what? The M N. So since you are looking for the M N, this is what you are going to do. K is plus 1. M N plus M N plus bracket minus 2 times what? 4. Which is equal to 1 plus M N. Please don't forget to equate to 0. It will give you minus 8. It's equal to what? 0. Then M N is equal to 1 collected light and give you 8 minus 1. So M N is equal to what? Plus 7. Then the higher pack nomenclature for this compound is K is what? Potassium, which is potassium 4 is what? Tetra. Tetra O, oxygen, ozo, manganese 7. That's the higher pack nomenclature. So you don't be confused when they say it's a potassium tetra or manganese 7. It's just the addition number. If you know the addition number, for you to get the answer, it'll be very simple. So let me go to number 4. K2CR2O7. We are solving for chromium. So since we are solving for chromium, K is what? What? 1. So 1 times the 2. Plus 2 chromium. Plus what? Minus 2 times 7. Remember, this is minus 2 times this 7. Give you 1 times 2 will give you 2. Plus 2 CR minus what? 14. Equate everything to be what? 0. So it's, it's going to give you. Let's collect light term. 2 CR equals to 14 minus 2. So 2 C arrow will give you what 12. Let's divide both sides by 2. After dividing, you notice that here we give you C. So chromium is equal to what plus C. Then the higher pack nomenclature for this compound is potassium 7 is hepta O is ozo. 2 is di, CRO is chromium. So when they were to call chromates, what's the answer? Cis. Please don't write this as figure. Please use the Arabic uh, numerals to write it. Cis. Roman figures. Please, Roman numerals, not Arabic, please. Use it to write it. It will give you potassium hepta also dichromate what? Cis. Don't be confused about all these names. Just for you to get a decision number, can get the answer. So K to CRO207. The other pack nomenclature for it is potassium hepta ozo dichromate. What? Cis. Let me give you the last one, which is CO2. We are looking for carbon. Carbon is unknown. Oxygen is minus 2 times 2. Give you 0. Then C minus 4 is equal to 0. Then if you collect light and C because of what? Plus 4. Then the higher pack nomenclature for this is C is what? Carbon. 4. Oxide. Some people say this carbon dioxide. That's the old name for it. The new name, which is the higher pack nomenclature for this, is carbon 4 oxide. 
So please, all these uh, position number of elements, they are very simple and very easy to get. You can just say uh, sodium tetrasulfases. That's for Na2SO4. Even uh, H2SO4, hydrogen tetrasulfases. If you solve it, you can just get the answer. It's very easy. Like this uh, limestone is a uh, calcium trioxocarbonate 4 for my answer. Then KMNO4, potassium is potassium magnet, potassium magnet, which is a potassium tetrazo magnet cis, and the K2CRO207, which is potassium hepta cis, and the last one CO2, which is carbon dioxide, also known as carbon for ozide. Thanks for watching. Please, I'm pleading. Click on the subscription button, please. Click on the subscription button. Thank you. God bless you.